Thanks for having me on. Good to talk with you. I, I've, I've talked with a lot of viewers, and it seems in the new year that a lot of them want to see the country unite. Like, forget red state, blue state. They want to see red, white, and blue. They want to see Americans coming together. What would it take, do you think, to unify the country? What would need to happen? And is it possible under President Trump? Because I think some people think he's just so polarizing. People either like him or don't like him. Yeah, but that, that would be hard. People thought the last administration was polarizing also. Um, look, I think it's easier to come together if you have a good economy, and right now things seem to be going well. It's Cert been going well since Trump took office, though, yes, right? Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, as we'll get a jobs report out today that I expect will be substantial, and as, as people begin to feel more comfortable in their own situation, um, you know, you're always... I, I, Got to be careful because I'm talking to someone who, who lives with the media. But you know, it's it has been pretty negative on the president, and it's difficult for him to get his message through. I mm -hmm. people all the time tell me, "Why don't you tell the president to stop tweeting?" But you know, honestly, he's got no other way to reach people because his message oftentimes doesn't get out. But you keep doing your job, you keep turning in a good performance. Uh, economy's good. ISIS is on the run. Uh, there's a lot of things be very positive about consumer confidence. I don't know where the, when I've ever seen it as high as it is right now. Mm. And obviously those are good things. Lawmakers have a lot of work to do. Yes, we do. Uh, there's a lot of deadlines coming up. We've been, we, I talked with you during the break. Uh, the Children's Health Insurance Program needs funding. The government needs funding. I mean, we only have that till January 19th, the funding. Uh, we've got the, the, the Dreamers. The, uh, the, those are the, the children who were brought here illegally, um, or they were brought here illegally as children, and talk about what Congress is going to do um, on that measure. What do Republicans focus on first? I think that's that's they, they all need, need to agree on something. What, what do you think needs to be focused well, on first? Obviously, funding the government is the first order of business, and uh, that will require an agreement about where the budget caps are set, and mm -hmm. that has been the focus of disagreement. Uh, Senate Minority Leader Mr. Schumer feels that more money needs to be spent domestically. Obviously, the President and the Republican Congress have been focused on rebuilding the military because that has been one of the one of the real significant problems that we've encountered. The, mm -hmm. the age of military equipment, and we just passed the largest pay raise for military personnel in decades. But it's been a long time coming. So those those agreements have to happen. Yeah, children's health insurance that was in the committee that I, that I'm on. We did our work months ago, and it's personally disappointing to me that the Senate has has held up the bill. It's a five-year bill, completely offset, completely paid for, and uh, th there's no reason in the world that the Senate keeps that bottled up, but they have. Mm -hmm.